all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they give a back-to-back -back updates on how things they be or how things they share for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too also remember to like and share this broadcast too all right my people i see the hot weather and so we go they give them straight to now back to back anytime any day and i see the hot weather the latest one we will be given and right now we say yes uh, interpol might and they uh, they might be set rather to arrest uh, the <laughs> former uh, president of uh, the so-called islamic state as uh, they call him uh, nigeria yes my people uh, buhari is and might be arrested soon by interpol for claiming for using the name of interpol uh, as a way to use an um um arrest mazin and the yes my people now so you go the hot it's just they open up right now say these people no even go through interpol and they used the mouth of interpol saying that they aligned with interpol to use his arrest my people you don't they let everybody understand say these people it is truly sabotage that let these people know about uh, the whereabouts of mazin and the and at the same time they have been able to also they were able to also find a way to collide and they uh, connive and lie with the with interpol's name saying that these people had uh, um, aligned with them or they had aligned with interpol too but because i even at that particular point we were thinking of how interpol would want to come for mazin and the canon mazin and the canon is not a criminal and is not someone that the interpol would even be looking for for any reason so i do not see any reason why interpol would be looking for him and at this particular point it has been made known that interpol was never even looking for these people was never even looking for mazin and the car never aligned with this set of people for anything and at this point uh, they have they have claimed after all their claims and now interpol has come to find out that this is what they did my people i would like to let you know that the fact or the reason why interpol has come to understand or has come to know that uh, this kind of thing is happening is because of the fact or because of the move um Maze simon Eba, pm brgie prime minister of the biafra republic government in exile has been making in order to make sure that things actually work well in order to make people know that uh, there is a freedom that we are fighting for in the islamic state and uh, that is why we have come this far that is why we are at this point that we are at the moment if not for that believe you me we would not be hearing this right now and that is why anything we do people keep talking about how we are making unnecessary noise or where we are making people know or how the alignment we keep making is not bringing every fruit it is because of the fact that we have come to the extent of being known everywhere the amount of uh, recognition we are getting due to what the pm is doing the amount of recognition that is coming everywhere because of what the biafra liberation army and how everything has been acting upon the fact that we've been fighting we've been struggling we've been making people understand what we are and where we are at the moment is why we are where we are right now is why we have come to the park that's why interpol it has come to interpol's um, um, network that these people have a leader that is under custody and that this same leader is someone that they, they claimed that they themselves were involved in holding down in were involved in policing yes that is why we are at this point right now that is why we have come to this extent that we are at the moment to be very very sincere with everything that is going on right now this is a very very big improvement to everything we've been doing this is a very big call to everything this encourages every setup every um, conference we've been setting to 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 hold coming soon it is everything we've ever wanted and believe you me it is what it and that is why we cannot stop fighting that is why we cannot stop going for what we want that is why we cannot wake up one day and decide not to do the necessary thing we need to do because we have come to find out that there is truly um, gain in everything we have been doing there is truly gain in these steps we keep taking every day to make sure that we actually have this have this freedom that we are asking for have this freedom that we are asking for that is the truth of the matter we are not here to joke we are not here for jokes we are only here to make sure that things we actually want to take place or things we actually want to happen happen and that is because the our only aim is the release of mazin and the kano that's this the release of Mazin and the Kano, and then the division in the so-called Nigeria, the so-called Islamic State, so that we'll be on our own and have our own nation. 
the fact that we've been fighting for this for the longest of time says a whole lot and that is why we are where we are right now that is where we can proudly say that uh, we are heading somewhere at the moment that is the truth of the matter and we are going to actually achieve everything we've ever wanted to turn us upside down and that is why we can't even have peace we can't even get what we want at the appropriate time if we if this is our state at this particular point think about it in so many years coming it means that we will be so oppressed and compressed in this nation that for anyone to even come out and say i am an evil person Will be, will be will be treated like people that are not human beings and <laughs> my people it, it would be the first time that tribalism <laughs> will be so so strong that we will not be able to say that ah we will not come out proudly to say we are Igbos or we are we are so 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 and so my people it is getting to that time if you think it is not getting to that time look at the place where we are now right now these are the things that were talked about in the old, that were talked about by our leaders earlier on. In the one that were leaders, our Igbo leaders earlier on, that these are the things that will be happening. But of course, most times we did not believe, or people back then did not believe it. But look at it now, we have found ourselves in that same situation. And now we are lamenting, we are crying. But no, we are not going to stop. My people, I feel like this should just be an eye-opener to people to understand that we cannot survive under, we cannot dwell under the same people. We cannot dwell, dwell under their roof. Their roof is not a roof. Their roof, higa higa. We will surely, the sun will surely strike us if we say we are going to hide under them because they are not interested in anything that concerns our business. They are only interested in anything that will benefit them. And they can use our resources. And they are interested in our resources, what we are able to do, how hard we are able to work to keep the country going because they are all lazy people. Every single one of them, very lazy. To see someone that is that is that is hard working or that would want to do put in extra work as an Igbo person, as a as an Aosa person or as a Fulani person is very hard. And that is the truth of the matter. Which is why if you come to the jam lessons or when you come to take jam and everything, if you come to uh, 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 Igbo people, they will carry their exam scores and exam cutoff mark and put it in 300, 350, 320. But then their own, if they manage to even get 90, they will pass them. Manage to get 100. Ha, that person might hear. That is what it is. This is, this is clearly not fair. And then those people will be giving more treatments, more better treatments than we ourselves because that person is from the north. And they will take it from where they are in the north, from their schools in the north, and still bring it to the east. Because someone that would still be getting around those low-level courses, low-level cut-off marks, will still be allowed because they are trying to invade, they are trying to encroach into every system that concerns the and be friends. This is their plan. Now making putting out this command. There was a time that uh, Buhari came out and said the same thing, and the backlash was so much that of course it was not. Now it's looking at it. It's happening the second time. To let you know that this thing is something they've had in mind. This thing is a plan that they've had right from time to make sure that ah we bring these people down to their feet. We encroach into their land. We make sure that we take over their land. Imagine giving Fulanese a free land. They didn't even say a part free land in every place in Nigeria, in every in every place in, in Biafra land, in Abia states, in Eboi states, in Enugu states, in, in uh, uh, Uwere, in Imo states. My people, think about it. When these ones have land, it means that they can get a base of wherever that land is, use it to plan and invade. And do a whole lot of things and that is the issue we keep having these are the issues we keep having every single time when these things are not treated properly you see that we would always have issues issues upon issues upon issues upon issues and when these issues start compiling and keep growing and keep going hard my people it means at some point uh, we will not be able to contain it but if it starts now to go against every single thing, to make sure that to let them know that we are not giving up on our call to get Biafra. Then they will come to understand that we are serious and that anything we've ever said has always been serious. 
and they will take us more seriously because that is what we need to do because that is what we are we are serious people that is why the biafra liberation army and the biafra Navy, every single people people involved in this particular movement is working tirelessly tirelessly to make sure that we get what we want and so that is the problem that is the that is the effort we need to keep having so yes my people this is where we come to the end of this particular broadcast thank you for joining us remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too thank you